Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today I have little Aristeus with me. So today I'm going to be um, showing you myself building his uh, vivarium, uh, his reptilife vivarium that I got the other day. It's a three foot by 15 inch by 15 inch, which is um, gonna be big enough for him. So it'll be his forever home. And, oh, <laughs> and I'm also going to be um, showing you myself as I say, putting that together and putting in some of his new furniture and bits and bobs that I've bought for him. So, um, yeah, he's a very curious boy, so hopefully he'll enjoy that once I put it all together. But anyway, without any further ado, I should just get straight on with the video and thanks very much for watching. So this is where I'm going to put Aristeus's new tank. It's a three foot by 15 inch by 15 inch. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to build it on top of here because it's easier than building it on the floor, on the floor sorry, then lifting it up. So anyway, I'm going to get started on that. I'm absolutely sweating, it's so hot. Um, I've got my fan on now as well, so if you can hear that, I do apologize, but it's so hot. Um, so I've got these glass door handles, thingies, dowels, and assorted screws. So uh, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna pop that on there and uh, get started, God, I'm so hot. <laughs> so I've got all these pieces here as well, excuse the mess, I have been cleaning the snakes out, so I've got everything I need so uh, yeah so I'm just gonna get on with it I also have some instructions here as well so I'll be using those Right, so I've got all this put together, excuse the reflection. Got all the screws and everything in. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got the glass in as well. So I'm just gonna put some of these hooks around the top of the tank so I can fit the fairy lights. So I've got Aristeus's hooks and fairy lights up, as you can see. I've put some substrate into Aristeus's new tank. He's got his hydrometer, hygrometer, whatever you call it, hydrometer. 
um, is fans. Um, and there. It's got his heat mat and probes. Got the fairy lights and hooks and everything going around. So I'm just going to sort his furniture out. So after a lot of blood, sweat and tears, I finally got Aristeas' tank done and this is him. He's been in his box for a couple of hours or so. So anyway, hopefully he likes his new home. There we go. Oh, he's going in his water. <laughs> oh. I have some new things to investigate. So this is Aristeus's tank complete. There's his water bowl and his little hide at the back. He's got his new little wigwam, which he's actually investigating. <laughs> um, and he's got his new rock hide with the hole in the top, the same as Zephyrus had, which is just there. Um, so yeah, he's got his foliage and whatnot tunnels etc etc so it's got a lot to look around at i have got a couple more hides to put in but i need to clean them and i need to sort out his rope bridge as well but um as you can see it's all looking pretty good i don't know what's going on with these at the back but anyway whatever. so yeah he's having a good little look around and everything's pretty much complete now so oh took long enough Oh yes, and I've just fitted his lock as well, so um, that's that all done. But yeah, that's it complete. Just step back so you can see, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. It was enjoyable to put together the um, Reptilife Life Ivarian, but I did get a couple of the panels the wrong way around, so I just had to adjust that and get that sorted. Um, so yeah, so I got that all done. As I say, Reptilife Life Ivariums are really straightforward to put together. Um, similar to um, Proviv vivariums as well. They're fairly straightforward. I know some people have issue with uh, Provivs, but I think they're really good. And Reptilife uh, vivariums are amazing as well. So yeah, I do really enjoy putting these things together, but sometimes, you know, you can get the panels the wrong way around. I was getting a bit hot and flustered yesterday, um, you know, sort of putting it all together and whatnot. So um yeah, but I got it done and I think his tank looks great. You know, I enjoyed sort of putting all that new furniture, new little bits of foliage and bits and bobs in. So um, there's that wooden hide with the little ramps. I'm not, I've not put that in yet, but I'm going to clean it and then I'll find somewhere to put it in his tank. So and I've just got to um, update his road bridge because it doesn't quite reach because the tank, his old tank was shorter, but this one's longer. So... Um, so I've just got to adjust that. But anyway, I think he's settling in all right. So we can just have a mooch about and see what's going on.
anyway so yes yeah, so that's it for this video i really hope you've enjoyed it and if you have then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that then just pop them in the comments section below and i'll do my best to answer them but for now from myself and little aristeus up there <laughs> it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching Thank you.